Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. In my previous video tutorial, I walk you through the setup of the Open Lightspeed stack for hosting a WordPress website on the LightSail server instance or the LightSail platform. Uh, building on that tutorial today, I wanted to walk you through the installation and setup of the PHP MyAdmin tool. Now, this is a must-have tool. I've talked about it many times in my previous tutorials that if you are running a database-driven website like WordPress or any other database-driven website uh, application then helps you manage the databases uh, using a web UI. Now, in addition to installing and setting it up for Open Lightspeed, I will also walk you through securing the PHP MyAdmin tool so that it isn't accessible and open to the public and it's only secure so that you can only access it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I am going to need to do is log into my server using SSH. So I'm going to do that on this server right here. I have Open Lightspeed installed and configured along with a WordPress as an application installed and configured on here. So I'm going to take that IP address, open up Bitwise SSH client, paste it and log in. If you want to uh, see how I've set up a local um, SSH client to connect to the to the LightCell platform, I have a couple of tutorials on my channel that you can go through and see how I've set this up. So once I'm on my terminal, I will just clear this information out and then elevate my logged in privileges. So I'll do sudo su. The next thing I'll do is install apt i'll install the unzip package because we'll need that to unzip the php my admin files that we'll download so let's go ahead and get that installed and then we'll um, cd to the dock root of the default virtual host that gets configured when we initially install open lightspeed so i'll cd there called example then html this is the dock root for the default virtual host that gets installed. Um, here, we'll get the latest version of the PHP MyAdmin tool. And for that, I am going to copy and paste this command. And all of these commands will be available in the accompanying blog post on my website, webhostingforbeginners.net. So you can find it there and you can copy and paste all of these commands as you walk through this tutorial. So here we are. Now, if we see, we have the latest version of PHP all zipped up. So we need to unzip this. So I'll do unzip PHP my admin. And that will have a folder created called PHP my admin dash five dot one dot two dash all dash languages. So this is the latest version of PHP my admin as of this video recording. Now we'll just move. We'll use the move command, but we're essentially renaming the folder to PHP my admin. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is change the permissions. So ch own dash r ls adm ls adm. So this is the user that the um, web admin for Open Lightspeed runs on. So we're going to give that user the permissions, uh, the ownership of this folder. And so the next thing we'll need to do is configure the um, Blowfish encryption secret key uh, for PHP My Admin. So we'll go into PHP My Admin. We will make a copy of this config.sample.ing.php file. So we'll need to copy that, but we'll remove the word sample from it. So we'll copy config.sample and then we'll call it um, uh, config.inc.php and we'll open that for editing using the vi editor and then in here we need to create a string for the blowfish underscore secret 
uh, property here. So we will do, um, I'm going to get a randomly generated key. Um, I believe there may be many out here already. So we'll say random number, random string generator. Random strings. Okay, and then we need 32, lowercase. Okay, so we'll just take one of these, copy. Okay, let me see. Um, there we go. Let's try this one. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, go back to my file. We'll hit the I to go into insert mode and then shift insert to paste the key that I just copied. And then I'll write the file. So I'll do colon W and then Q that will write and quit the editor for me. Next thing we need to do is log into the open Lightspeed web admin uh, interface. So to do that, I will copy this URL, come over here and then we need to um, put a colon 7080 because that's the port that the web admin listens on. Now, before I do that, let me just check if I have the port open on this server. If not, then I will need to go ahead and open it. Okay, and now if I hit enter, continue on the warning, my username and password. Okay, the next thing we'll need to do here inside the web admin is click on virtual host, click on the default virtual host here, and then click on uh, context, and then we'll create a new context for the PHP My Admin application we just created. So we'll hit plus, leave this as static, hit next. URI will be slash php my admin now you can change this to anything else you want that is one way of securing it most people just leave this as php my admin somebody can guess where that application is installed but you could change this to my dbui or something like that if you wish to i'm going to leave it the same for this tutorial now we will give it the location where this uh, application is installed and we know that's installed in user local uh, lsws example html php my admin accessible we'll say yes um, let's see and then the access allowed we'll put an asterisk here then one more thing we needed to set uh, index files we'll set this to index.php and that's it hit save restart now you'll notice here or i guess i could show you is listeners and you'll see our default listener is 8088 now if you click on default listener our virtual host which was the example the default one is listening on port 8088. So we need to open this port in the light cell firewall configuration. So let's add a rule and put 8088 as the port to open. And there we go. Now we can simply test PHP my admin by going to this IP address and putting 8088 slash php my admin. And if we've configured everything correctly, we should come to the login screen for php my admin. Now, the root user uh, the root password is set up when you install Open Lightspeed server for MySQL, so you may want to go check out uh, the file or the output of that to log in so i already have that for my installation so if i copy and paste that password i should be logged into now php my admin and i can manage the databases through this ui i'm going to go ahead and log out and i will also close this browser window 
because the next thing we'll need to do is secure the PHP MyAdmin application so that it isn't just available publicly for anyone to log, you know, see the login prompt and then try to figure out or try to hack their way into your PHP MyAdmin tool and get access to your databases. So there are a couple of ways to secure it. One of the first ways to secure it is in the LightCell uh, dashboard in this firewall section here you can actually just restrict this port. So if I hit the edit key here, you can restrict the access to this port to a specific IP. So if you click on restrict to IP address, here if you type in your computer's IP address, then this port will only be available to, or will only be accessible by your IP address. So you can do that to secure it. The second way to secure it um, using an IP address is in the web admin. Um, that is available inside the virtual host. Click on example, at your virtual host, and then if you come over to the context, then click on the context that we just created. And here you'll remember that we have said access allowed anybody. So if you hit edit, you would come down here and you would put only your IP address. So if your IP address is 1.2.3.4, you would put that here and then access denied anyone else. So that way, those are two methods of securing this application using IP address based uh, security. But let's say we don't want to do that. So there's a, another way to secure it. And that's the next one we'll walk through. So the next way to secure it is using a username and password database or a, or a password vault to authenticate the user before they can access the PHP MyAdmin uh, application. So to do that, we'll go back into the SSH terminal. And here I am going to create a file. At this location. And then come back into the web admin. We'll go back into our virtual host. We'll go to security. And then here, we'll create a new realm list. We'll give this uh, a name, PHP my admin. And then the location of the uh, data user database. And that will be the one that the file that we just created. And then we'll hit save. Oh, uh, forgot one step in here. We'll go back here and give the ownership to the user that the um, web admin runs on. So that's, we'll do that real quick. Now, if we hit save, you should be able to get there. Go ahead and restart. Perfect. Now we need to create a username and password. So this will become a link. So you can click on this. And then here's where we can set up a username and password. So you click on plus, add a username, and then set up a password. Hit save and then restart. Now we'll go back to the context, click on the PHP my admin context, edit, and then come down here where we have realm, select the new one that we just created, hit save, and then restart again. And now if we go back to the browser and try to access um, PHP my admin, it should prompt us for a username and password. Okay, so to access this application, we need to enter the username and password and this will be the username and password that we just created. And once you've given a correct 
username and password, you should come to the PHP MyAdmin login screen. So these are a couple of ways to secure the application so that isn't it, it's not just available out there in the public and only you can access it. Uh, adds a little bit of security because, as you know, if you leave this open and uh, someone is able to log into your application, now they have full access to your database. Um, so that's it. I think this is the end of the tutorial. I wanted to quickly show you on how to set up PHP My Admin and configure it and set it up so that you can manage your WordPress or uh, database-driven websites using this tool on the Open Lightspeed server. All right, so I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may also benefit from this. Um, as I mentioned in my last tutorial that I am learning more about Open Lightspeed as a web server to run your websites on, WordPress websites on. So as I learn more about it, I will create more tutorials like this. And so if these interest you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I post video tutorials like this. If you have any questions or comments, please note those down in the comments below. Or if you want to reach out to me, uh, my email address is in the description below or it's on the channel homepage. Um, the, you can grab it from there and send me an email. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. And until the next video tutorial, take care.